Gaming in the year 2024 is truly insane to say the least. What we don't got going on, right? Think about it. You got protests happening, censorship is rampant, DEI, ESG, uh, ESG your mama, we also had uh, games coming out incomplete, incomplete, microtransactions galore. And today I got a bunch of clips that I'm gonna share with you. And in this video that you're about to see in just a second here, you're gonna see a brother, a protester, literally kiss Eve, the poster of Eve in Stellar Blade to express that he's a true fan. Yeah, yeah, but before we get down to that, guys, I want to actually show you this. Get ready for the climax. Like the video if you don't want censorship in gaming. Dislike the video if you want to see Abby Zilla like characters. Biatch! We're gonna get right into it. Okay, now there's been a lot of drama surrounding the game Stellar Blade, and just when you thought this discourse couldn't get any crazier, something else happens. And that yeah. something else is another bounty being placed on someone's head, oh, a threat no. to their life because they called out the censorship of this game, which is confirmed, by the way. It's more than just outfits. There is multiple aspects of Stellar Blade that have been censored, and these changes yeah. have been acknowledged by the director of Shift Up. And all of this is a direct contradiction to the way that this game was advertised as an uncensored release. Yeah, now wait wait for it. There's more than that, okay? Yeah, 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 bro. Like, we got bounties, suckers are sending heaven proposals left and right. What is going on? This is not GTA Online, damn it. This is not GTA Online, damn it. All because of video Game opinions, man. I cannot believe it. Now, one of the main people leading the charge against the censorship of Stellar Blade has been Mark Kerner, known as his Twitter handle, Grums. He has been calling out these acts of censorship and created a petition that hopes to revert these acts of censorship. Now, he's been targeted by a lot of people who are trying to attack him for calling out these yeah. acts of censorship, and he yeah. was once again trending yesterday, and for yeah. some absolutely <laughs> vile reasons. Now, we covered this tweet yeah. a few videos ago. If you thought $20,000 was bad, wait for it. Where someone offered $20,000 to yeah anyone who could make Mark Kern disappear. This is responding to a tweet where he is showing uncensored outfits of Eve so you can compare them to the censored versions. This is the reaction someone had. A literal crime, by the way, putting a bounty on someone's yeah. life. Now, where is Biden? Where is Biden, bruh? You cut this man chicken nugget supply, man. Ban him from fast food restaurants. Do something, bro. Do something. Normal people react to Stellar Blade censorship. Ow. Of course, I would cover that in a video that later Asmongold would react to yesterday called Normal People React to Stellar Blade yeah. Censorship. <laughs> and we would get a reaction section here when the Twitch streamer Denims TV would react to Asmongold's video reacting to my video. However, in her reaction, she would up the bounty to $30,000. The bounty no on Mark Kern's head. Listen, I'll up the number, okay? okay. 30k to anyone who will make this dipshit disappear and <gasps> make Eve's breasts bigger. Okay, you Go have queen? to do both. All right? Because then it's a win-win for me. I get more breast, and I don't have to see that moron on my timeline anymore. So if you think about it, now, in case you're wondering at home, based on a fair interpretation of the law, what she did, what she said in that clip might constitute a felony in the United States. Now, for those who don't understand what constitutes something as a felony... Man, this is, this is insane. This is happening in gaming. This is happening under God's hot sun, on God Green's earth, uh, green earth as well. Holy crap. And brothers out here, <laughs> yeah. You know, everybody's like, okay, let's investigate. Okay, we need to find a criminal CRM 1000-1499, according to 1069. Nice, by the way. Overview of pertinent provisions. So, yeah, people are like, really, really like, okay, let's find. Because under Section 875 of Title 18 prohibits the transmission in interstate or foreign commence of number one, any demand or request for ransom or reward for the release of any kid. Oh shit, oh. Okay, I don't think I could read that on YouTube, bruh. That means the violation of that law carries a minimum of one year in prison. So what she did might actually land her in some very serious trouble. And no, adding the little joke at the end about Eve's boobs does not somehow cancel out what she had already said. Now, because yeah. she was reacting to Asmongold's video about this threat, there is some confusion as to whether she was addressing this comment towards Mark Kern or Asmongold or both of them. And this yeah, was yeah. Asmongold's reaction to seeing this clip. Because then uh -oh. it's a win-win for me. What a retard. I get more breasts, <laughs> and I don't have to see that moron on my timeline anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> so if you think about it. <clears throat> well... She's so aggressive. Well, it's simple. So how do you deal? No, that's that's queen behavior, bro. Go queen, go queen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she's probably 
I'm not sure if she ended up receiving a Twitch ban because a lot of people are like, yo, bro, she needs to get a Twitch ban, <laughs> bruh. Like, she's probably gonna get banned for a day and the queen will be back by Monday, though. With so. a situation like this, it's really easy. Uh, I contacted Twitch about it earlier. I sent okay. them a clip and we'll see oh, what no. happens. And, you know, maybe after that, I, I might put in a police report. I'm gonna oh. just wait and see how things oh, play shit. out. This is unhinged. It's completely unhinged. It's totally uncalled for. Yeah, this is like a felony. What is this? Yo, if a man did that, bro, like... He would have been thrown in another dimension. You know that, bro. You know that if a man did, if a man said what she said, holy crap, menace to society. And yeah, rightfully, like we do not put, like what are we, are we 12 right now? What the hell is going on? Over some video game opinions, you're telling me you're gonna put like actual bounties? Uh, listen, man. Yeah, we have clowned on Sony ponies in the past, the Xbox Andy's in the past, when both of these circuits go at war with each other over uh, like some smaller differences between PlayStation and Xbox, right? But even then, the Sony ponies and the Xbox Andy's do not put bounties on each other's head. They simply like do like heaven proposals, but like. <laughs> But they don't put bounties, right? Like, okay, well, uh, I'm gonna send him a heaven proposal, but also I'll put a bounty on his head. Yeah, like, Sony ponies, and sometimes, rarely, it happens very, very rarely, we only see, like, one or two disgruntled Sony pony or Xbox Andy that would send, like, a heaven proposal, but you don't see that, right? You never see them, even they don't put, like, bounties, bro. This is, this is unhinged. This is unhinged. You need to look up mental hospital near you, bruh. This. She's got me on the screen, and she's saying that yeah, so um, I, I did see this. I thought it was quite ridiculous. It's actually uh, kind of a surprise. So obviously, like we've said, this is a very serious situation where what she said very clearly at the minimum violates the terms of service yeah. of all of the related- Wait for it. Wait for it. And you know what? I want to show you like the happy side of gaming right now. PS5, and if you guys got Twitter, I would definitely love to have you on Twitter. We have Instagram here, uh, Twitch. All the links are always in description. I would definitely love to have you around the social media just in case. Links are always in the in the description and the ad to solve a skizzle. Let me send you let me send you some kishish. Uh alright, let's get back to the content now, boo boo. So PS5 Stellar Blade protester really kished the, the poster while protesting. Check this. So you got this, right? And 51,000 signatures. Holy I signed this petition. Okay. Because I believe Stellar Blade should not be censored. One of my favorite games of all time is Nier Automata by Yoko Taro. This game is not censored and I can look up the skirt of 2B. Please. Please support this uh -oh. petition. Incoming, incoming. Please support. Incoming. Please support. <sighs> okay, alright, we're gonna stop it right here. We're gonna stop it right here. Yeah, we're gonna stop it right here. <laughs> These are gamers. I, I guess uh, he's a true fan, by the way. But the back platforms. to the regular. And also, as many people. Thank you for subscribing. I saw you subscribe and appreciate it. People claim has also broken the law as well. She is in some hot water. She's gonna be dealing with a lot of headaches out of the situation, which of course is a self-inflicted wound. She said this under no pressure. She did this openly, and it's recorded in front of a live audience for everyone to see. Yeah. Now, there's been a lot of. I, I think. Uh, Queen forgot to say in Minecraft reaction to this tweet that's going around and here's some of the uh, more popular responses This user saying wow, I gotta look up what this guy did to get them to this point Oh, he just said video games yeah. shouldn't be censored. <laughs> here's another one from Chibi Review saying this is all over Stellar Blade oh, By the way man. woke up seeing a streamer putting a literal death bounty on someone's head for not liking censorship This person legit needs mental help. Yeah, I feel like when you get kind of lost in the woods here, you're, you're doing all these arguments and people are getting, uh, you know, back and forth with each other. You kind of forget what we're talking about. Yeah. Obviously, these... Just because he didn't want games getting censored, bro. <laughs> the, what, what the actual hell is going on in gaming? Bro, gaming is like, man, we have some of the biggest dramas happening. It's like literally every day. I'm just laughing at this entire... It's a clown circus right now. It is a clown circus right now. And, and what the hell is going on at Sony, bro? Like, they love Abbyzilla, which is fine. Yeah, love is love, okay? Yeah, you can have Abbyzilla. But why do you say no to Eve? Why? Can a brother just get an uncensored version like you promised? Like, you promised that this game is not gonna get censored, and then you censor it! Right? Abbyzilla don't get censored. 
We saw his ass getting pounded, cheeks getting clapped, ray twisting, 4K, 60 FPS. Okay, 60 FPS is the only part that I'm not sure. Uh, I believe on PS5 it's in 60 FPS, right? But on PS4 when the game first came out, I don't think it was like 4K uh, and 60 FPS. Bruh. I think it was like 1080, 60 and 4K, 30, if that makes sense. But yeah, the point remains, like, we saw Abizilla, Brock Lesnar looking dude, ass getting pounded. So, wow, okay, yeah, you're gonna have that, but like... We, we also sometimes need non, non-stunning and brave characters. Sometimes it's perfectly fine for characters to not be stunning and brave, guys. Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree. These issues are Wait important, right? Nobody wants the censorship of Stellar Blade. People want to speak out against it and get it reverted, hopefully, right? It's important to a lot of people, but it's not life and death. It is not life and death. And we're at a point yeah, where people yeah. are putting multiple bounties on people's heads over the situation, over calling Crazy, out man. censorship of a video game. If that is your reaction to someone calling out censorship, you are not well. If you're wishing harm upon someone based on that, you are not well. And in this yeah. situation, it's very odd because we've seen all kinds of death threats be thrown at Asmongold, Mark Kern, even myself, from just random Twitter users, but you don't see people who are established Twitch streamers do stuff like this. I mean, that's why it's so crazy. But moving on to another comment this user said, uh -oh. the craziest part is if Grums threatens someone like that, no one would view it as a joke and it would make national headline news. Absolutely, absolutely. This is kind of like what I was talking uh, earlier as well, and I absolutely agree. If a man did that, thrown in another dimension, thrown behind bars, and everybody in the comments would be like, well, little bro, do not drop the soap don't drop yeah people would be giving that brother like tips people would be like yeah bro uh you didn't ask for the tip but i'm gonna give you a tip right now you know don't drop the soap people would be joking and memeing but right now it's like yeah nothing gets done it's like bruh <laughs> we, we, yeah bro it's we living in a clown world right now bro for Tinga is uh, right on this one and that is very true if mark kern had made a threat like this against someone else he would menace. be annihilated he'd be wiped toxic masculinity menace to society yeah we need to get rid of that bozo you rip bozo you're gonna see rip bozo while in the in the chat yeah it's off the face of the earth every platform he was on would be removing him right i think that's very obvious however in this situation people are actually trying to defend what she said and act like it's not that big of a deal but we know if the roles were reversed in the situation they yeah. would not be feeling the same people would not yeah, yeah, have yeah. the same view because they dislike mark kern and they're trying to defend anyone who is going after him and also this idea if mark kern did this people like me oh, and other people no, who have yeah. been supportive of him would be critical of him if he made this yeah. threat. In fact, if Mark... Yeah, all of his arguments that he made, it's like, yeah, those arguments do make sense, but they wouldn't have the same level of uh, uh, credibility or... There's another word for it. It's not going to have the same level of credibility. There's another word to describe it better, which is not coming up right now. Kern had made a bounty like this against someone else, I would have immediately dropped any support for him because that would be unhinged. But in this situation, people are trying to justify it because they don't like him. In fact, this part about the joke is something that a lot of people are doing. People are trying to claim this is just a joke. And if this oh, was, Casey? of course, reverse roles, they would not claim it was a joke. You can see Casey. Oh, Casey. Come on, Casey. Come on, man. Yeah, Casey apparently went hard at uh, Asmongold. She got, like, ratioed pretty hard. Uh, and Asmongold called her out. Yeah, that was another drama, which I, I don't think I covered. But because, yeah, like, didn't need to cover that. On here saying this. Imagine your biggest problem in life is female video game characters not showing enough skin. And when people make fun of you for it, you pretend that you're getting death threats. The only thing you're a victim of is your own sickness. Of course, calling what? everyone you don't like a how mature but also you can see multiple layers of denying the truth they're trying to act like this it ain't even about that dog it ain't even about that they promised that the game was not gonna the game is not gonna be censored and they censored it they're pushing all kinds of agendas right now the woke agenda and all that i mean this is fine this is fine this is stunning this is brave but this is like you brother you brother you right brother e e okay like you're gonna have this yeah go for it but can a brother also get like a non-woke game as well it's not even about like booba this and that or showing skin this and that like it ain't even about that the game is rated m first of all it's mature they said that it's not gonna be censored get censored a lot of things get censored not just uh the booba or the, they put like a blacklist and they hide the cleavage right nah it ain't even about that dog it's bigger than that it's bigger than that. Every game is getting like the, the woke agenda and that's uncensored, completely uncensored. But when a game or a dev team says no to the woke crap, they have to censor. It's bigger than that, bro. Censorship is only down to the outfits. When we know it's about more than just that, it's also about broken promises from Stellar Blade. They're trying to minimize what people are actually complaining about. And then the same breath are trying to claim that he wasn't getting death threats. 
The clip is literally right there where she puts a bounty on his life. You can put the evidence and shove it right in their face and they will still say it didn't happen. Whether it's with yeah. the censorship or with these threats, they just pretend like it's not there because it suts their own agenda. Yeah, in fact, I happen. think Casey Tron's just mad because the other day she tried to go after Asmongold and he asked- Yeah, well, I, I was like, I didn't cover this because didn't need to. Well, I guess we're covering it. <laughs> it's crazy. Zach was like, you're fat. And you spend your life smoking weed and doing drugs. If any's, anyone's a stinker, it's you because she said, Asmund Gold hates himself more than what any of us ever could. Just look at the lifestyle he chooses to live as a multi-millionaire. There is nothing that could be said to that disgusting man that could ever make him change his filthy, hateful, putrid ways. Just a real stinker. She came out of nowhere. Absolutely annihilated her with this reply. I think she's still mad about this. That's why she's making those comments. But moving forward, here's another comment saying, doesn't matter what you think of him, putting out hits, especially publicly like this, is not something that's a joke or funny. There is no grounds for free speech here. This is inciting physical harm against someone. I mean, how do you explain this any other way than exactly that? This is not- It's crazy that some people saying that putting bounties and sending like heaven proposals to somebody, that's like part of free speech. Yeah, okay. That's that's insane. Yeah, if you're signing like having proposals, it's not right. But they would be like, it's free speech, bro. It's free speech. It's free speech, man. It's free speech. No, nah, bro. Like, come on. What are we talking about? Bro? Free speech. Free speech has its limits. You can't incite violence against people. What is she doing when she puts a bounty on someone's head and has a bounty out for their life? What is that other than inciting harm against someone else? And here's legal mindset. Obviously an attorney, and this is his perspective on the situation, oh, saying shit. the comments hilariously destroy this woman, but the reality is this is a clear unfair application of TOS. Twitch, YouTube, and X suspend accounts for saying far less and without direct threats of Holy. violence. And adding in a comment about Eve's breasts at the end does not change anything. She probably thought she was smart doing so. It's like... <gasps> We got actual lawyers out here getting involved. This is insane. People who say in Minecraft, right? They'll see someone make a threat against someone else and they'll say, well, in Minecraft, that does not, you know, escalate that or de-escalate it to something lower than a threat. It's still a threat. Even if you add in a little quib like that to make it a joke, it's still yeah. a threat. And she is aware of this. So when this initially happened, her own viewers were saying that she did something very, very seriously wrong and said that they were calling the police on her over this threat. And this was her initial reaction to people saying that. <laughs> yeah, it's free speech, I just love huh? holding streamers accountable. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, if you show a cop that clip, he's gonna laugh in your face. Half of that clip is me yeah. talking about liking big boobs. <laughs> Well, as you can see, she's not laughing anymore. As this clip went viral on Twitter, she am- BOMBOKA! Yeah, largest female political streamer goes hiding. Change your bio to that. Immediately privated her account and she has gone into hiding, which is not surprising. All these people who make these crazy statements, the second they face any consequences or criticism, they immediately private their accounts. We've seen it happen with pretty much every single person involved in the Stellar Blade fiasco, and it's just predictable at this point. But yeah. really, the <laughs> takeaway from- <laughs> What? You're gonna add Mike Tyson? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he never even said that, but like, okay, let's read. I'm, okay, let's read. Social media made y'all way too comfortable with disrespecting people and not getting punched in the face for it. I th okay, no, I think that's a real quote, and yeah, absolutely. I 110% agree. But the funniest thing is that, like, I just did not anticipate that in this drama, people are gonna bring Mike Tyson in because, yeah, he, ha he has a fight coming up, right? He has a fight coming up with Jake Paul. Jake or Logan? I think it's Jake. All this is people have gotten way too comfortable saying the most outrageous stuff on social media. I get yeah. it, okay? Some of these it things are heated topics. People insult each other. People make fun of each other. People criticize each other. But when it gets to a point where a conversation about censorship of a video game gets to a point where people yeah. are having threats on their lives, yeah. like, what are we doing? People it's are insane. way too comfortable and this Mike Tyson quote will live on forever because people keep doing this. People keep acting like they can say whatever they want with no consequences just because they feel basically empowered by their moral disagreement over sense. She probably woke up and she was like, you know what? I feel like I can take over the world. I actually had a BBL last night, so today I'm going to be strong. I'm going to be strong, independent. She went way too strong independent, bro. It's not. Okay. Sending heaven proposals is not strong and independent. Okay. 
All right, sweetheart, it's not that, okay? Censorship of a video game character and how we should view it. But moving forward, here's Mark Kern's response to everything he says. Yes, I'm upset about a streamer uh, upping the joke bounty on my head, but I decided everything, I deleted everything except the video clip to keep the focus. Okay. All this because people want to stop the petition. Sign it today and make it all worth it. You can yeah. see his petition and the related hashtag, hashtag free stellar blade, which unfortunately now has been censored by Twitter. This is not too surprising. They tend to clamp down on things like this all the time. Oh, what? Okay, now, um, okay, genuinely, genuinely, uh, I did not expect that. Uh, so they are, uh, censoring the hashtag Freestellar Blade. Okay, I didn't see that coming, actually. But the hashtag Freestellar Blade has been censored on Twitter. But despite that, despite this hashtag being hidden by Twitter over 24 hours ago, Holy. in that same time period, the petition has grown by over 20,000 signatures. And it's now up to 55,000 in total, which is absolute. I guess it's safe to say that the more they try to push it, uh, push the agenda of woke, more people are going to talk against it more people are going to talk about it and the more they try to censor it more people are going to speak about it and the fact that yeah this is a prime example right now they are hiding not sure if this is true or not i mean looks like it's true it was it was typing hashtag free stellar blade and it was not showing up so more they try to do it the more people would be uh you know fighting against it this it's a yin and a yang right or oh, it's it's one of those things if you hold if you try to squeeze the spring harder it's just gonna bounce even harder. It's like everything has an opposite and equal and opposite reaction. Yeah, absolutely. More people absolutely will- Crazy, and again, I'll put a link to this in the description. Go ahead and give that a signature and add your support to this campaign. So hopefully we can get these censorships rolled back. Yeah. Now again, I think it's important to take a step back and just realize how far things have gone. A conversation about censorship of a video game has led to such extreme reactions. And the people making these threats and alike they think they're the normal ones in this situation, and yeah. it's totally insane. It is hard to understand why people are so threatened by someone calling out very visible censorship of a video game. I imagine your parents are asked what your kid does. Uh, yeah, my, my kid actually sent, uh, you know, uh, death threats to people on the internet over video games. <laughs> opinions. To people that they don't even know in real life. Yeah, man. GG's. GG's that they were promised, that the customer was promised, wouldn't be censored. Why are people so angry about those calling it out? It's truly a head scratcher. And before we go, there's one more thing I want to point out. So uh -oh. you guys know- I Guys, click on this video on the screen. This is the last episode that we've done. And my God, the this is insane. People are not stopping. You're gonna see a clip in this one that it's just gonna blow your mind, okay? Check this out, and I'll see you right there. On the left, this video's on my second channel. Yeah, second channel, guys. Second channel. And people are really, really canceling their subscriptions, so definitely check out both of these videos.